I guess the next thing we'll open up is stance. Okay, so when you're arm wrestling, everything, everything is one unit, right? You use as much muscle in your head as possible. That means it comes right from your feet, right? That means your stance has to be perfect. Also understand that it's not just your feet. You are in contact with this table. This is part of you. The table becomes part of your base, right? And a good table, you know, you, you, you become part of the world, right? Boots are optional, hey, right? come on up. So there's basically, I'd say, two ideas with stance. You're trying to base for a neutral option, you're trying to base for more of an inside option and an outside option. These are your three basic ways to go. Okay, so, and does everybody know, I know a lot of people here are new and that is so good and I'm so happy you're here. And it's great that most guys, put up your hand if you've got less than two years. Right, okay, put up your hand if you have more than five years. One five. Okay, very interesting. All right, there we go. Right? It's an interesting statistic. Okay, so listen, I feel very strongly, even though there's a lot of old dudes that were really strong, that I knew how to arm wrestle better than those who came before me because I studied them. And it will be the same thing with all of you, okay? You must listen to every arm wrestler and get their ideas, right? So stance, so outside arm wrestling, outside arm wrestling. Both feet under the table. So outside arm wrestling, outside arm wrestling, both feet under the table. You see this? My base is always coming back, right? I am set to fall backwards, right? The whole premise through outside arm wrestling is you are never holding on. You are never holding on, they must hold on to you. This is the overriding principle. You don't hold on to anybody. If they don't want to hold on to you, fine, we do it in the straps. Totally fair, totally fair, right? So always be rising, both feet under, and it becomes very hard to deal with, right? So you need to consider this as part of your base, that ability to fall back, okay? This, this comes into what we call split option. Split option is the high hook, it's the balance point, it means that you are stronger, it means you cover the field, okay? It means you own the top and you chase the person down. So that means the right leg still goes far, and the left leg is a split. It's a split stance, okay? Your hip becomes part of the table for the inside option. You still have the fall away. And if things get wild and crazy, you can transition, okay? The split stance. The split stance, and you saw what it flowed into, you saw the foot up absolute max for the inside option, right? Foot goes as high up as possible. You wedge your body close and you set, ready to, ready to commit the body forward, right? And that is your base, okay? So consider your bases, both feet under, falling back, split, an okay option in both ways, but not as good as, 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 as the committed ones, okay? In terms of absolute strength, but better in balance. And then you have the absolute Jerry Cataret, you know, foot up and... Test your frame. Test your frame. So those are the stances. Uh, and that's what they lead to in arm wrestling. Um, they lead to inside and outside styles. High hook. Do you guys understand the difference between inside and outside? Do you know what the difference between inside and outside is? Exactly, top row hook. Yeah. Can you say it even more simply than top row hook? So think, think further down in the body. Hey, who said that? Who said that? 
Hey, smart guy, is that you? Ah, there we go, okay, that's it. Shoulder back, shoulder forward. This is the base where you can tell, is it, is it inside option, is it outside option? You can see it through the shoulder, okay? The, the shoulder can do basically three base moves, right? The shoulder falls away, falls away from the table, falls away. This sets up primarily some kind of an outside attack. Here, shoulder, com exactly, shoulder comes forward, it's an inside attack. It's the base way to describe it. Whatever's going on in the hand, there can be a million things, right? Inside, outside stance. Yeah, that's it, ready, go. Right, and the real gift in arm wrestling is to be able to start to shift between. And that's the power of the high hook and that's the power of controlling the top. Now, what we'll get into, someone, someone who was arm wrestling me over on the, the side table asked, oh, ah, the judge, Florian, where are you? Where is he? Florian. There he is, the judge. The judge, yeah? Come on up, come on up, buddy. Yeah. Florian, I, I, I've met Florian a long time ago. He got me out of jail. How many times, buddy? Uh, two times, yeah, good I dude. He's a good dude. <laughs> okay. Um, so Florian talked about, so we were talking about, do you remember at the beginning of the class, or whatever you want to call this, this, this good time, this party that we're at? <laughs> um, height, right? Height. And I said, I refined it and refined it, and I said, it's, it's rise and it's roll. And you came over and what did you say? Yes, if you only rise, you are vulnerable to a forward move and the hook. That's right. So what he said is if you keep your knuckles high, you are vulnerable to someone setting a hook at the bottom, right? As opposed to a low hand? A low hand top row would be a better option against the hook. Absolutely, low hand top row would be a better option against the hook. Bingo. Okay, so, so what that talks about is that it talks about what, what those first two rules were, okay? So, so here's the interesting thing. What do you think is a low hand? Is a low hand hook a defensive option? Or is it an offensive option? Like an underhand, like you're talking a defensive hook. It's right in the word. Is it a defensive option? <laughs> it's a defensive option, right? Defensive hook, right? So the hook comes in to secure the high hand, right? So he's doing all the arm wrestling fundamentals from the top, rising, cupping, control inside the body, right? So vulnerable to an, a low hook, right? So this is the top of the pyramid, the high hook. He's pulling in a high hook, and he's wondering why doesn't my high hook work for everything? Okay, the high hook doesn't work for everything. It divides the two sides, it divides inside to outside, okay? So, but the high hook is only valuable as the division point, and you never stay in a high hook, ever. What will happen, those inside and outside stances, the, the weaker man will run to one of them, to one of them. Whoever owns the center chases, okay? People, has anybody ever played King of the Hill? In Germany, do you guys have King of the Hill? No, you no know King of the Hill? So in Canada, you guys are lucky, winters are terrible, so we have big piles of snow, okay? And in school, all the kids run up the hill to try to get to the top, and then they push each other down. All right, you guys don't have that? Yes. You don't have that. Northern Germany maybe has it. Ah, okay, okay, so come to Canada. Uh, anyways, so it's the same thing in arm wrestling, and the top of the hill is a high hook. But if you want to punish that boy who's halfway down the hill, you don't do it from the top of the, 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 the tower, okay? He will actually beat you. He'll say all sorts of bad things about you. You have to go down, right? It's the law of intimacy. You can hurt the people you're closest to, right? That's just how it is in life, right? So you have to follow the person down. And thereby, you have to do the high-low toggle. You cannot just keep your hand high. Is everybody still following me? What was, what was rule three? Does anybody remember what rule three was? Never take what's being given to you. Right, right, right. Okay, so what is that defensive hook giving you? What is the most, come on, Florian. 
Because it's very important. Like if you want to understand the rules and the flow of arm wrestling, you want to understand this move. It's called the high-low toggle. Okay? And it's a balance point. And it's, it's how to top roll. It's how to switch from, from high to low pressure. I'll do it to you. Okay? So the first thing we fight about is the top. Right? And if I can control the top, then I'll come through in a hook. But what should happen is at some point, he may decide to bring his shoulder forward. Right? And this is the defensive hook. Right? So it, if I've got the top, and at some point, he comes forward, I'll just keep my hand high and sink that defensive hook. Yeah? Yeah? There. Bang. He got in. He got his spot. Okay? So, if I follow rule three, I have to see that coming, right? He's not even fighting me for height anymore. So, for always be climbing, it starts off at the top, but when he gives it away, you follow him down, right? And you rise, not through the top of your hand, but through the bottom. You're rising through the bottom of your hand, still to set up the roll, right? So, here we are. Rise, right? I set it up. If he ever comes in, if he ever comes in, right, I switch to a low hand, right? And this is the high-low toggle, right? That's why you have to give things away, always be climbing, 